Look what has arrived in my doorstep. My Dito SIM card. Dito has officially been released in Metro Manila last May 17th and I finally got to order my own. What I like about this SIM card is that it comes with a free SIM ejector tool right here. Other SIM cards actually don't have this and Dito knows you're gonna lose it. For this test, I'm only using one phone which is my Chair Mobile Apo S9. My phone doesn't support 5G so uh, I can't test 5G on it. But rest assured, the SIM actually supports 5G as seen on the writing right here. Before we proceed, uh, I would like to say that this test is not sponsored by Dito nor Chair Mobile. If you like though, you can check my review of the Chair Mobile Apo S9 which will be linked in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Before you can use your Dito SIM card, you, your phone must be supported and that you must be in a compatible and covered area. Ngayon, ililink ko yung compatible phones and covered area in the description below. Be sure to check it out. If your area is covered and your device is supported, then your phone will detect the Dito SIM card automatically. In my case, the Apo S9 supported nga yung phone ko and yung area ko, Metro Manila, is also covered, kaya na-detect agad. Ngayon, if your phone supports Volte or V or Voice Over LTE, makikita niyo sa top right corner, uh, kita ba? Kita ba sa camera? Ayun, uh, kung kita niyo na, on the top right corner, you see that box on the top right? That's Voice Over LTE, which means my phone supports Voice Over LTE and so does the SIM card. So yun nga, pero Technofiles, we're gonna set up our Dito SIM card. To activate your Dito SIM card, you must either send a text message or activate your mobile data. Take note lang na dapat ang default mobile data carrier nyo is Dito or else it will default to your other network carriers such as Globe or Smart. Once you're activated, Dito will send a text message notifying you that your SIM is now active. It may also send an authentication code before you sign in. Now, let's explore the Dito app. Once you're signed in, you can manage your data usage, check your promo details, buy and share load, as well as check your load and sharing history. Yung Dito pala may starter promo na may kasamang 25GB high-speed data, unlimited SMS, and 300 minutes of calls for all networks worth 199 pesos for 30 days. Although, wala siyang kasamang load. So ngayon, itetest na natin yung capacity ng SIM card, yung up and down speed. For this test, I'm gonna use speedtest.net to so we know kung gano'ng kabilis yung SIM card. Okay, let's start! So ngayon, tinest ko muna siya indoors. Ngayon, we're, we're actually seeing kung gano'ng siya kabilis. So let's first get the, uh, the down speed. So there, we finally got the results for our Dito SIM card indoors. Ngayon, tinest ko muna siya indoors para malaman natin kung ganok siya kabilis inside. Kasi yun nga, we know na iba yung test sa labas, iba yung test sa loob. Indoors, it has an average down speed of 15.2 Mbps as seen here. Ah, nakita nyo naman dyan. Yan, 15.2 Mbps. It has an average ping of 20 ms. And the out speed is 40.3 Mbps. Not bad for a 25GB SIM card. It's actually pretty fast. Ngayon, pag mag-gaming ka, pretty sure hindi siya magano maglalag. And straight sailing lang din pagdating sa mga videos. Okay, itetest natin siya ulit indoors para lang malaman natin kung consistent ba talaga siya. We might do this test one more time. So, a total of three times. Okay, this will be the second test. Ready? And go! Okay, it's now going for the down speed. Oh, the, the, the up speed is uh, right now major disappointment. Okay, ito yung final results for the second test. As you can see, uh, 39.5 Mbps for, ano, for the down speed. And 5 Mbps, 5.24 Mbps for the up speed. The ping is actually much lower now, which is great. 
Ngayon, nasa 16ms na lang siya. It has a jitter of 6ms. This is actually still pretty impressive, although ngayon medyo disappointing yung up speed niya. Okay, Technophiles, this will be the final test indoors. So, let's get ready in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, the, up, the down speed is actually pretty impressive here. Once again, the up speed is very slow, but uh, actually fast for the average consumer. Okay, there's our final test. It's actually almost the same as the previous test. It has a down speed of 39 Mbps and uh, I mean 34.9 Mbps for down speed and the up speed is 5.58 Mbps. The ping is slightly higher, 22 ms, and the jitter is a little higher than usual now at 23 ms. This, uh, this speed testing is actually pretty fast and will still not let you down when you're watching or playing, let's say, a competitive game like Mobile Legends. It will not let you down, it will not let you lag. So for the outdoor test, I went to three key areas which I believe people will use their data often. These areas include Eastwood, Mega Mall, and Market Market. Now, I actually have uh, I actually have clips of them recorded through my Redmi Note 9. However, since the video is long enough already, and I appreciate your time, I have them instead unlisted in the description below. Meaning, hindi mo, hindi mo sila mapapanood unless you click the links in the description below and only in the description below. Take note lang that these videos are uh, unscripted and will have a different feel compared to what you're seeing right now. So please, Give them some time. So, the first clip I showed you was in Eastwood. And kahit malakas yung signal, let's say 5 bars, eh, di pa rin siya umaabot ng optimal down and up speed according to speed test. And the fact na ang pinamalapit na server sa Quezon City in Eastwood is 7 kilometers away is saying something. Ngayon, uh, nung natinest ko nga siya, you see naman from the clips, Hindi siya umabot ng 1 Mbps, and if it did, it's a miracle umabot siya, actually. Ngayon, may nakausap ako while testing it in other areas, kasi baka nga, dependent talaga sa area, sa location ko, may nakausap akong Grab driver ata yun, or Food Panda driver, I'm not sure. Ang sabi daw niya is, may na talaga signal niya, since gumagamit din daw siya ng dito SIM card sa phone niya, pero malakas ang smart and ang globe. So I really think na wala lang talagang tower ang dito that's close to Eastwood. Kasi I also tested it outside of Eastwood where you're waiting for vehicles, we're waiting for a transfer to arrive. Umabot naman siyang 2 Mbps for down speed pero it's still disappointing. Pagdating sa Eastwood, if you live in Eastwood, uh, I'm sorry to say but dito will be a disappointment to you. Ngayon kung maganda dito sa'yo in Eastwood, that's great! That's great actually! Maybe it's my device lang, maybe it's dito, or maybe nung tinest mo yung phone mo, eh, meron ng dito tower that's close to Eastwood the time you tested it. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. So after I went to Eastwood, I went to another key area which is in SM Mega Mall. Nung pumasa ko ng Mega Mall, napansin ko, pagdating ng, let's say, uh, department store, so as long you're deeper inside Mega Mall, wala nang service yung dito. And ang, ang alam mo, gansang abot lang ang dito, hanggang SM Mega Hall lang ang abot ng dito SIM card and yung signal. Ano ba? Is it right? Tawag sabi ka ha? Right. Pero malalaman ni eh. See ya. The connection in Market Market is consistent and topped a high record. I was able to get a record of around uh, 40 Mbps for down speed, parang sa Pasig, and a surprisingly good upload speed of around 6 to 7 Mbps. Though compared to Capitolio, it's still slightly lower. Pero I guess ganun talaga ang average ng dito SIM card. I don't know. Baka ganun talaga ang average. Good thing too, kasi naglaro na ng Mobile Legends sa loob ng Market Market. I was able to play two games straight without having to see the annoying reconnection pop up every time na naglaro ako. It happens when I use other SIM cards, but not for dito. Dito has consistent signal as well as a good connection in Market Market. Stay tuned for my part 2 of this video where I discuss the 
gaming, the uploading, and the downloading as well as my conclusion for the data SIM card. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, you can always give a thumbs down. Any feedback is appreciated. Also, let me know what you think of the Dito SIM card here in the comments below. Once again, I'm Rafael and I'm a technophile. See you soon!